on a positive note by giving credit where credit is due. An officer in Texas was photographed giving a pair of boots to a man in need, a scene similar to what we saw at the end of 2012 in New York. And finally tonight, we'll take a look at another Texas officer, this one who stops to play catch with a boy, this captured on dash cam footage. Now there's been much speculation as to how or why this video was released, but I'm just happy to have a good video to end our segment on. You can find more reports at InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.tv. Stay tuned after the break because John Corbett's interview is coming up next. He talks about how the TSA granted him all access pass to any flight he wants to take from now on just because he, you know, sued them for violating his rights. And after that, we will be going live, live coverage of the state of the regime, state of the tyranny address with the whole crew. So we'll be right back. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gates. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with the new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formulation fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Well, joining us tonight is John Corbett. He is an engineer, a tireless critic of the TSA, and of course, he is the first person to sue the TSA over their illegal actions. And his current lawsuit has revealed that in 2011, they were writing internal documents that there was no terrorist threat against either airports or airplanes. It was simply theater. And now he's been given a free pass to get through the TSA checkpoints. We want to talk to him about that. Well, I'm really jealous, John. I mean, you've got this lifetime free pass from the TSA, and all I've got is this crumpled up Fourth Amendment. What, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. Um, you know, you, you can imagine my surprise when when I was uh, when I found out I was enrolled in, in pre-check and, uh, and kind of laughed at the ticket agent a little bit. She didn't understand why. But uh, yeah, it, it looks I, like it. I'm sorry. Yeah, tell everybody. I mean, it just just came out of nowhere, right? You you didn't apply for this, right? Correct. So the the pre-check program has has been expanding uh, a bit. They they're trying to include more frequent flyers. So um, that that's possibly how I got in. But I'm I'm a little bit suspicious uh, that that perhaps it's to keep me away from the body scanners. Yeah, yeah. You're definitely got to be on their naughty list. Uh, maybe they've got a. You're on both of their naughty and nice list. I don't know. <laughs> it's it's interesting. You know, since since getting started, people have always joked with me that you know I'm going to find myself on the no fly list and. Uh, Apparently, I found myself on the opposite. 
Well, you know, you might be on the no-fly list. Uh, they don't tell anybody if they're on the no-fly list. We had a guy when I first started here, and he got stuck in Hawaii on his way to visit his wife in Japan, and they took him off of a military flight. He had just had all kinds of security clearances and everything else, and they jerked him off the flight and told him he was on the no-fly list, so he was stuck in in Hawaii because there wasn't any way he's going to get off of that. So you could, you could be on the no-fly list, and they don't tell you. That's amazing. There, there have been some great strides in the no-fly list in the last couple of weeks with two separate federal judges uh, ruling that the due process received was unconstitutional. So that's, that's yes. good to hear as well. Yes. Now, there's a quote in this article that Steve Watson wrote. That he took it from your blog, and you said, their inclusion of me in this program is further ironic since in 2010, when I filed a motion for a preliminary injunction that would require the TSA not to scan or molest me, the TSA argued that an ad hoc exclusion like that would devastate their impenetrable fortress. But here we are, four years later, they've done just that. They give you a pass. Well, you know, they gave the, uh, the Muslim Brotherhood a VIP pass. So... <laughs> Well, hopefully I'm not on uh, the same list as they are. But, uh. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but they just, it's just arbitrary. Whoever they, they let in and whoever they don't. And, and see, that, I think, is the real problem, of course, right? Because I talked about all I've got is my crumpled up Fourth Amendment. The Fourth Amendment did not give us any rights that we didn't already possess. We had those rights inherently because we're human beings. The Fourth Amendment was there to control the government, to keep the government from trampling those rights that we have as individual humans. The, their behavior does seem to be pretty arbitrary, and you know we've we've seen that uh, throughout the TSA's history. For example, when they banned uh, carrying toner cartridges on airplanes because mm -hmm. someone tried to smuggle a bomb through them, it had nothing to do with the toner cartridge. It's just whatever they happened to put it in at the time. Uh, you've seen people that are on the no-fly list that shouldn't be, in, or people that should be that aren't. You've seen, you know, the pre-check issues. We've seen, uh, you know, the the take off your shoes and your belts maybe at some airports, but not others and other times of the day. And we're busy right now, so we'll let you go through without being scanned. And the scanners are on half the lines and not the other halves. And uh, honestly, the TSA justifies this by saying that everything is is random and unpredictable, and and that, that's a load of BS. The, the yeah. TSA, yeah. if they wanted good security, would be consistent in applying their security, but they're not. That's right. And it really boils down to arbitrary power. If you're going to exercise arbitrary power over a population, then the total power, it has to be arbitrary in that sense. So, I mean, real total, ar total power is one that's exercised arbitrarily over people. It's exercised at the whim of the people who are running it. They don't have any rules, any guidelines, and they really don't have any purpose. They're not there for our security. That's what we're trying to hammer into people. And this came out in your lawsuit. Now, I mentioned that you were the first one to sue the TSA, but you've got a lawsuit that's going now. We've reported on this several times that as part of the discovery process, you came across some very incriminating confessions in TSA documents, they redacted those out of the documents and yet mistakenly posted the lawsuit unredacted so we could see the redactions that they had and what they had redacted. And they made confessions back in 2011 internally that there was no threat against airports or airplanes. I'm actually barred from commenting on that. Okay, all the, right. Uh, the 11th well, I just Circuit said it. Court of Appeals has prevented me. But you can comment it all you want. I'm That's actually right. the only person in the world that's not allowed to talk about what's in my own legal briefs, if you can believe that. That's kind of like a fully informed jury association thing, right? Where the government, where the the judge tells you you can't remind people what's in the Constitution of the state. So <laughs> I'll remind them of that. We keep reminding them of that here at uh, Infowars. And well, let me just ask you this: Is that uh, that lawsuit? Is that still ongoing? It's still going. Um, the uh, the judge in in that suit ordered uh, the judges the panel rather ordered oral arguments that are going to happen at the beginning of June this year uh, down in Miami Florida so um, we we can't expect a ruling until at least after that okay well that's a very important lawsuit and the timing of it is very important too the timing of that admission in 2011 because that was happening at the very same time that we were seeing a lot of egregious handling of travelers, uh, a former Miss America beauty contest uh, uh, person. And we had legislators here in Texas that put together a law that would stop that, that would criminalize that behavior as it should be criminalized. And at that time, the government, 
started to threaten that they were going to shut down flights in and out of Texas. At the very same time, internally, they were admitting, according to these documents, that they inadvertently put on the internet that there was no threat. So we'll be watching that very closely. But let me just ask you this now. Have they won you over now that they've given you a free pass, now that they've changed your fundamental right into a privilege that they've now granted to you? Or <laughs> <laughs> Basically. Yeah, so, so you're just fine with the TSA now, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I, I never applied for pre-check. I never enrolled in it because I didn't think it was right uh, that some citizens should have a, a different privilege than other citizens. Even, even if it was just a matter of paying a fee, uh, no one should have to pay a fee no matter how small uh, to, to be able to have their rights to travel and their right uh, to be free from unreasonable search and their, their right not to be molested or groped or uh, x-rayed as, as they travel. So, um, you know, I, I never asked for it. And um, that's right. I, I really hope that they, they start extending it to everyone. I know that they're not going to be able to co-op you. You've been a tireless fighter against this from the very beginning. And what we see happening here, the, the loss of the presumption of innocence, and the idea that they can stop and frisk anybody, the idea that they do dragnet searches of all of our data, that they store all of our data, it's a complete picture of tyranny. They are establishing a complete infrastructure of tyranny, and we've got to roll this back as much as, as soon as we can, as much as we can. And I really thank you for taking the lead on this with your lawsuits, and we'll be watching what happens with this current lawsuit. You said it's coming up in June, so we'll be watching that. Thanks a lot, John. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Well, we'll be following that lawsuit very closely, as well as following the TSA's continuing attacks on our freedom and our dignity, you know, just as B.F. Skinner suggested that they do. You can follow us here at InfoWars by becoming a subscriber to Prison Planet TV, and you can help fund the operation. And you can share it with up to 10 other people at the same time. And as the beginning of the year, we always have a sale so that you can get five months off if you get a subscription. Well, that's it for tonight. We'll be back at 7 Central, 8 p.m. Eastern. Tune in to PrisonPlanet.tv for an extended broadcast. Now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at Infowars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at Infowars.com slash show. <laughs> <laughs>